Hi, Lee Ellis here with this month's coaching segment. You know, one of the things that I've been looking at a lot lately is the idea of mindset. Our mindsets drive our decisions, our behaviors, which drive our outcomes, which could be positive or negative. So in thinking about mindsets, one of the things that we run into a lot is dealing with paradox. Leaders like for it to be one way or the other, typically. But in reality, so much of life is a paradox. i give you some examples. How can you be a visionary and be practical? How can you be serious and be fun? How can you be strong and vulnerable? Competitive and yet supportive of others? Confident and humble? Bold and cautious? You need to do all of those things if you're going to be a good leader. And let's look at teams. Teams, there's a paradox there. We need diversity. We need different talents, different worldviews, but we need unity. And so part of the leader's job is to take that diversity and move it to unity by building trust and understanding. That brings the team together to be a cohesive team. Now, one of the things that I find so hard, this is so hard because you're opposing, you're holding in your mind two opposing ideas and you have to be flexible. You have to go from one to the other. My friend Laura Beth Jones has described this in, I think, a very unique way that really helped me to understand it. She said, think of it as picture in picture. You're able to explode and blow up the one picture, and that's the main picture, and look at that one carefully, and then you swap. And the little picture becomes the big picture. So you have these two pictures, maybe bold and cautious, and so now I'm looking, how can the, where do I need to be bold? And then all of a sudden we bring up cautious, and where do I need to be more, more cautious? So we're switching back and forth between the two. I think you can get the idea. Now, in the POW camp, uh, we were served some of the uh, most unusual food. Most of the time it was a bowl of uh, boiled, thin, watery soup and a piece of bread or a cup of rice. But the one day they came in with the most terrible smelling stuff you've ever imagined. It was rotten fish. And I mean, it was so rotten that it almost made you gag when they brought it even in the building. Well, then they dished it up on our plate. So now we have this, uh, this problem here. We have the stinky rotten fish on our plate and we're hungry and we've been eating this bland diet and this has protein and calcium in it. Do we have the courage to eat it? Well, some of us did and some of us didn't. I happened to be one of the ones who was first to eat. And uh, after about the third time, I developed a real taste, a love for stinky, rotten fish. So here is a situation where, out of necessity, I had to learn to flex and reset my mindset that stinky and rotten was not always bad, and it turned out to actually be good. So a lot is in our perspective and our mindset, and that we can be flexible. You know, Admiral Stockdale in, uh, was one of our senior leaders, and I've written about him in Leading with Honor. Uh, he was just an incredible leader, received the Medal of Honor, was awarded that after the war for his courageous leadership and heroism. Jim Collins writes about him in the book Good to Great, and they were friends at Stanford University where they were both on the faculty in the later years of Admiral Stockdale's life. Stockdale talks about the Stockdale... Uh, Collins talks about the Stockdale Paradox. And the Stockdale Paradox, I'll paraphrase, but it says basically you must always believe that you will eventually prevail. But in the moment, you also have to brutally confront the realities of your current situation. So it's like you're seeing in the big picture for a minute, we're going to be successful, we're going to get through this, and then you shrink that down and blow up the big picture now is we got to deal with torture and isolation and hunger and all these things. And so being able to go back and forth between those two was a situation I think we all lived with. We didn't know it as a Stockdale paradox, but we knew that was what we had to do to live and to survive and return with honor. Now as a leader, if you can be flexible in your mindset and you can go back and forth between something like results and relationships, both of those are very critical to being a good leader. But we're not naturally wired to do both. Most of us are tilted either toward relationships or results. Well, to help you out, our team has come up with a really neat relationship tilt, leadership balance, leadership tilt infographic. 
I really encourage you to go to our website and check out that infographic on your understanding your leadership balance and your leadership tilt. I think it'll really help you. And then dealing with the paradox of having to do both, well, that's what great leaders do. They adapt their behaviors, they grow and learn to do both of those things that they really do need to do. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you. Please check out our blog on the similar subject. And also, don't forget the infographic on the leadership tilt. Until next time, lead with honor. See you soon.